What's up, bros, and welcome to part two of my Spider-Man Variants custom minifigure series. Now today, I've got five more Spider-Man variants, so let's get down to business. Now for the first custom in today's video, we have a combination of Spider-Man and Moon Knight. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Legacy Zane minifigure from Ninjago. The torso is from the Spider-Man Homecoming suit with some white arms and some dark blue hands. Then, we're going to take this white cape piece, pop that on. We're going to take this new Spider-Man headpiece, which is from the Spider-Man integrated suit, and then finally, we're going to take this white hood piece, pop that on, and then we have the completed Moon Knight Spider-Man Fusion costume. Now, this costume is basically just like a what if Peter Parker was chosen by Khonshu to be Moon Knight or something would be a pretty interesting idea, and this costume is something that should belong in my Marvel Fusion Avengers series, but I thought I'd add it to this Spider-Man Variants Costumes video instead. And um, yeah, that's basically it for this costume. Now for the second costume in today's video, we have a custom Spider Shocker. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Sith Trooper from Star Wars The Old Republic. The torso is from a random villain from the old Lego theme. Ultra Agents got this torso piece off of Bricklink a while back, and as soon as I saw this piece, I knew I had to make a Spider Shocker custom in the near future, and now it's finally being done. And the printed arms are of course from the Eraser from the Lego Batman movie minifigure series Blind Bags, I said that way too fast, with some dark red hands attached, and then we're gonna take this red armor piece which is from Unigami from Lego Ninjago Prime Empire and then we're gonna take this headpiece which is from the first Iron Spider minifigure pop that on and then we have the completed Spider Shocker custom basically a combination of Spider-Man and the Shocker I don't know if this guy would be like a villain or a hero cause there's no plot behind it it's just a custom now let's give Spider Shocker his Shocker gloves or gauntlets. These don't really look like gauntlets, so I don't really know what they are, but I think they get the job done. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now, for the third custom in today's video, we have a combination of Spider Man 2099 and Captain America. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from Justin Hammer. The Torso is from the Spider-Man 2099 minifigure with some printed arms which are from the Captain America Sam Wilson minifigure from the Lego Marvel minifigure series blind bags and then we're gonna take this Spider-Man 2099 headpiece, pop that on, we're gonna take this Captain America helmet piece, also pop that on, and then we're gonna give him his shield and and we have the completed custom. Now this is a really weird custom. It's just a combination of Spider-Man 2099 and Captain America. And I have no idea why I came up with this. It looks really cool though in my opinion. So that's what matters. And that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fourth custom in today's video. We have a custom Quantum Suit Spider-Man. Now this is definitely the most boring and uninteresting custom in this video, but the torso and the legs of this custom minifigure are both from the Quantum Suits from Avengers Endgame, with some printed arms which are from the Spider-Man Homecoming suit, and some white hands. Then we're just gonna attach the Spider-Man Homecoming suit headpiece. And then we have the completed custom. Now this is a really old custom that I made ages ago, but I never really showed because it's totally uninteresting, and I just decided to throw it in this video because it's not too bad. It's basically just like a what if Spider-Man survived the snap and he was with the Avengers, so he had to time travel, and of course he needed to have a quantum suit. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fifth 
and last custom in the second Spider-Man variants video, we have a custom Cowboy Spider-Man. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from, I honestly have no idea, this is the first time in ages that I've forgotten where a minifigure piece in my collection is from, so no idea where this leg piece is from, sorry about that. But I'm pretty sure the torso piece is from Kiati Mundi from Star Wars with some red arms and some dark brown hands. And then we're gonna take this red bandana piece, we're gonna take this Spider-Man head piece, pop that on right there, attach it to the torso of the minifigure, and then finally, we're gonna take this brown cowboy hat from the Wild West or something, and then we have the completed Cowboy Spider-Man costume. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure Cowboy Spider-Man is an actual character from the comics or something. I don't know, the only reason why I remember this guy is because I'm pretty sure I saw him in the old Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon, and he seemed like an alright character, and I gave him these Wild West guns, and I'm pretty sure Cowboy Spider-Man uses web shooters as well. So I guess this would be kind of inaccurate, but yeah, this is already a weird custom, so it would be alright to make this custom weirder with adding guns. Now, I hope you bros enjoyed these five Spider-Man variant customs that I've made. Now, I have no idea when part three of the Spider-Man variants video is coming out. It might not come out for like a couple months, so I'm still working on part two for the Batman custom, so stay tuned for that. Feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make mocks and of course custom minifigures. Feel free to join the Discord server. Link in the description and the pinned comment. And uh, yeah, have a great day. See you bros.